my uh, studio recordings are in Paris. Oui, tout moi, ce qu'il faut pour revoir juste, c'est cette partie-là dans le, dans le piano. Il y avait une petite faiblesse, non pas au niveau de ton interprétation, mais c'est toute cette partie-là, quand l'orchestre couvre trop. In spite of his hectic recording schedule and his demanding concert tours, Richard Clayderman remains very much a home-loving man. We are at the entrance. There are two paintings which I like very much. I bought them in an auction. These two paintings are painted by Tetz Klassen. I have always liked Tintin and all these figurines which are made of resin. This one I found in an auction. I like it. He's sitting. I can fix it on this little piece of furniture and you see, he's always fixed toward the door. That way he always keeps an eye on the visitors and he checks when I come back home. Alors, il y a à peu près plus d'un an, j'ai rencontré un artiste qui, qui s'appelle Didier Bisset. About a year ago, I met an artist. His name is Didier Bisset. He knew my son is a basketball player. He also knew he was number seven in his team. So he featured the number seven on the back of the T-shirt. And he wrote Peter's name. You know, time is very important to me. I'm always busy, so I need to be perfectly organized with my work, with my appointments. Therefore, I wanted to have a big clock in this music room to always be on time and to know where I stand during the day and after work, know exactly the right time. The notion of time is very important to me. This is still a work by Didier Bisset, a specialist in treating polystyrene. I had asked him to create a stage, and then he showed me playing the piano, very much caricatured. A bit crazy. The audience is unbelievable, too. There are also some secretaries featured from Delphine Productions, my record company. I told Didier he could have a free hand in the way he did his job. He is a devoted family man and enjoys time with his son, Peter. Richard's only child from his first marriage, Maud, made Richard a grandfather of two boys by the time he was 45. I must say that it's very important, the family, because uh, uh, I'm so happy to, to have my uh, children. My daughter now is uh, 26, and my son is 15. 
if I play on stage, if I, I do this career, it's uh, also for, uh, for my family, you know. I can do this uh, career if I was alone, you know, for example, and to have uh, no family, to, so it's very important for me, the family. A perfect day is, uh, for example, when I am at home and, uh, and to, to start to, to practice on my, my piano uh, in the morning, uh, during two, three, four hours, and after to be cool and to do, uh, for example, sports. I love to run, so after practicing on my piano, if I have time to have a good jogging, it's perfect, and after to take care of my son, it's a perfect day. Mm -hmm. So, does this prince of romance consider himself a romantic person? Uh, I, I think I am a romantic person. Uh, because uh, of my music, of course, and also because of my personality, because I, I'm, uh, I'm quite shy and, um, and uh, yes, I, I'm very romantic. <laughs> It's my life.